Hey guys, what's up? This is Red B Shop, and it's been a couple of weeks since I've started work. Right now, I'm been thinking. Blech. Guys, what's up? This is Red B Shop, and it's been weeks since I've started work. Um, right now, I've been thinking whether when I should uh, print my stories in uh, in a physical copy or should I do it in digital. And I thought that maybe this would be something that would be interesting for you guys as well. So um, let's get started. Physical or digital? Before we start, we should prioritize what do we have more of. Well, uh, in my case, I've got no, don't ha I don't have much time in my week to create comics, but I do have enough to make a script. Uh, that's one, and another is I've got a spare from my salary to spend on my comics, whether I would want it in print or digital. Uh, if you're going to ask why do I have to consider uh, spending it on digital and that's because um, it depends on what channel you're going to post your comics with and stuff so you've got to list down what are your priorities are what resources you have that includes time and money and then it's apart from your skill of course um, because you have to also consider how long does it take you to create a page and if you start releasing your comic before you even got a few chapters in, uh, your followers or I mean, depends if you choose digital or physical, they are going to wait for it if you let it out before it's even done or if you choose to make something like a per chapter or series like a trilogy of some kind and that's one of my goals for uh, one of my series uh, okay so uh, let's recap um, I wanna experience making a trilogy and I think uh, I would want to experience that in print and another is I wanna experience making a series for uh, webtoon um, just because I like the format and I really want to experience that kind of like half uh, visual-esque kind of landscape when you scroll down and you experience the comic like as it as it is built exactly for um, digital so um, those are the few points you have to consider whether you're going to make your comics in digital or print um right now i guess i would like to um consider twitter uh one of it uh, of my inspiration is everest if you guys uh have heard of it uh they've recently come to the philippines to advertise their app and i really have been in the deviant art community where they do role plays for accounts and uh that was one of my um kind of uh, younger dreams and still in my bucket list to experience with so I guess um, judging from my own situation uh, I'd much more prefer a digital because um, let's list down the pros and cons okay if you do it in digital uh, the pros are uh, you could compile all of your episodes and release it in a timely manner you don't have to consider uh, the print and the quality and stuff like that because you could easily um, change uh if there's something you notice that is wrong or you're gonna make it uh depending on what channel you want it for and another is that let's see it's less expenses i have i don't have to consider which cons i have to buy a table it buy a table for it for and then um where what print shop i am gonna print it with and another is that it's easier to i mean if i'm gonna advertise it in a sense 
to my uh, social network, it, it's going to be easier rather than um, doing double the work for print and digital. I guess I'm already sharing what's the cons of doing it in physical. So let's go to the pros of the physical, okay? Um, the pros of doing it in physical is there's a different experience if you have the comic in tactile form where the reader could actually feel your comics could smell it and could actually see the lines of the of your physical lines on the script rather than just staring at it in digital because that's always going to change of course you can zoom in in your work through either your phone or your desktop but it's still different when you combine it with the kind of smell if, if you're going to um print it in a fragrant if you in a fragrant page if you have that kind of budget and they exist okay and then um or the just the inky smell of each comic pages and then yes the there's instances where if you choose to sell it there uh, if you choose to sell it in cons and stuff, you're actually going to see the other person who's going to receive your comic. So you can easily um, imagine the artist and then the person who's going to read it. And then there's a different kind of experience that from a digital point of view where you could easily uh, go in and go out of the series rather than having a solid book in your hands. Another is expenses and time management where you have to uh, do quality assurance for each print if you're going to be realistic about it and then of course you have to also contact with your uh, print shop and you have to pick it up and then repackage it and whatnot if, you're, if there's still some other stuff you're going to sell it with. And then consider where you are going to sell it in, or if you're going to sell it online and then if that's what you're thinking with it's going to be double the work of um, promoting your comic uh, that includes uh, social media um, sharing teasers for your page so readers could get interested with your comic and then just thinking about it it's kind of a hybrid sort of selling a product and then also uh, promoting it online so those are the various points I was thinking with whether I should go about my series whether it should it should be uh, digital or physical so uh, right now if you are a beginner I guess it would be better if you start with digital because it's going to cost you less um, if you're wondering what I mean by that it's because of the electricity the internet and then the skill and the amount of time it takes you would be uh, easier to manage to release your series online now uh, with physical it's okay if you want to experience it for yourself of course I really encourage uh, people to try it because there's really a lot of um, markets out there that support uh, indie creators and then I guess that really depends on you what your priorities are and what the re resources you have so um, for now uh, I just wanted to share uh, what I considered with and hope that uh, these kinds of um, things could help you too since I've but I, I mean, I'm going through it with you, so whatever I share is something I'm, uh, I'm also experiencing with. And uh, the part where you could test me with is uh, having, having enough resources that doesn't mean money or time, but rather the network of people and experiences I have uh, to back me up and actually say that give me courage and say what I'm saying right now and that yes it those kinds of points work of course uh, circumstances circumstances always differ with uh, people to people but um, those are the kinds of things like I wanted to share and hope that it could help you too since I've, I'm also trying things out for myself since I was in my case 
I was very limited with resources that includes time and money because I was a student myself before and my priorities was my academics of course and then um, immediately starting to find the job because that's what your parents and expect of you after you graduate so it took me a couple of years before I finally got the break where I said I am not going to be that old until I experience uh, having a physical copy of my comic or having it out so the point I want you to carry with is you have to start right now it doesn't have to be perfect but you have to be out because every time uh, I mean the time you spend not doing and perfecting your comic is the time that you're not going to be found anywhere regardless if it's on print or digital because as long as you don't have it out of yourself you're you're not going to have enough space for new things or just uh, giving yourself more confidence that ah uh, yes I did it I could do better next time and just build upon it, it it's a kind of rule where it's not a rule okay but it, I forgot the term but I got this quote where as long as you do something and keep on building on it it's going to um, amass in a certain period of time where your efforts are going to produce results it might not be the results you want but it is the result regardless of your efforts uh, on how you want it to build with and that's why I am trying to explore what I can do with my talents talents and then um, just the creative field in particular because I enjoy it so okay uh, that's it and I hope to see you again soon